Hi everyone so today i have an amazing video with me and this is going to be an ai automation video this is going to be a series on my channel where i would be uploading n10 and other ai agents videos as well this is one of the most basic automations that you can create but it covers all the topics that you need and everything that you see here is free so what is happening in this automation is that if you open the chat here you can write hi send an email to xyz at gmail.com asking them whether they would like to meet on 12th or not let's say i just send this right it would automatically extract what email id i mentioned it would uh, create a subject it would create a message content and directly send to the email address using gmail so whichever you connect and everything is free the open router uh, chat models that we would be using will be free so don't worry about it to actually install n10 it is one of the most easiest tasks you just need node.js downloaded and if you have ever used like uh, config ui or anything you would know that you uh, require node.js other than that just open the command and write np n10 that's it so here i would create a new workflow that is completely blank so the first one that would be creating is that chat message right so here what i would do is basically if you want an ai agent you can write an ai agent and i'll come back to this later basically what happens is that if you double click on it you can open the options settings parameters and everything but we'll come to it so what is happening here you can see here Uh, we have the chat message right it automatically gets connected to it and if you double click on it here you can see the prompt user we are getting this json chat input so there would be other like parameters that we can actually create like variables for them what is coming uh, from the node from the previous node people who have used confi ui can i think understand and relate to this very well now there are there are three aspects first is the chat model so for the chat model let's say we would be going for because we are using the free ones i would be going for open router right so for open router you can see you can use open ai chat model open router anything i would be using open router now here what you need to do i have a credential created but for new credential what you actually can do is that create a new credential and here you can just copy the api key you can go here in open router and you can create keys so just paste it here and that's it you need to click on save once you do that here you can see you will get many different models that are present in uh, open router but what we would be doing is that we would be choosing the free ones now for open router has uh, changed some of its policies and because of it the google gemini 2.5 pro free one is not working for people who have uh, ever bought 10 dollars in credits so i would be going with the flash one for now you can change any one so select this right copy this and just paste it here and you can see it comes up the free one we'll select it and that's it back to canvas so our open router model is connected now how this ai agent actually works is that it uses open router's llm for all the like brain thinking and secondly now uh, there is something very interesting if i say hi you can see there is an output right but the problem there would be is let's say my name is excalibur i said that right now just look at the reply and then i'll ask what is my name so here you can see okay nice to meet you excalibur how can i help you today i'll ask what is my name right and let's see hmm. 
सी इट डज नॉट नो वॉट इज माई नेम बिकॉज इट इज ट्रीटिंग ऑल द इनपुट एज अ सिंगल इनपुट लाइक इट डज नॉट हैव कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ वॉट वी हैव टॉक बिफोर सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम विच कैन बी एक्चुअली सॉल्व विथ मेमरी सो आई क्लिक ऑन दैट एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट इज यू कैन एक्चुअली यूज द पोस्ट ग्रेस एंड अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट थिंग्स बट द बेस्ट पार्ट इज सिंपल मेमोरी सो यू डो नॉट नीड एनी थिंग इट इज बेसिकली यूजिंग द एनाटेन एनाटेन्स मेमोरी on your system so now if i write hi my name is excalibur you can see i can actually uh, ask it again what is my name and you can see it can reply now your name is excalibur so again and this actually refreshes and with refresh the session id is changing so it is getting reset now we have two things the last thing that we need is the ability to send emails and for that we would be using a tool that is gmail so once you do that you would actually need the uh, to connect it so to create a new credential what you can see is that i would be using this oauth2 recommended and then we would need a client id and a client secret and for that we need to go to the google's cloud console so in this page we'll go here select project and we'll create a new project So for the new project, I'll name it Anaten Automation. Let's say, and I'll create. You can see it is being created here. Then we'll go to Select Project. Here I'll come to. API and services o auth consent here i'll click on get started i'll give the app name anaten app i'll use my email next it would be external next i will give the same email I'll go to next continue and create here I'll click on create oauth client this would be a web application I'll give it an attain client and here what you need to do in this part add url part you need to click on this right and here you will see this so you will have to paste this and then click on create now one thing that you need to remember is that you'll have to come to audience here and in the audience you have to select this publish app and then confirm it so now you can see that it has been published and now you will come back to clients client here you can find client id and client secret you need to copy both of these and paste it here once you have actually established the connection so what i'll do is that i would do this right and then we need to subject and everything 
and what i generally like to do is that here you can see i would copy this so basically what i am doing is if you go to expression right and you click this means from ai so it will be taking uh, the two uh, the email address that we want to send from ai and here i have given it a name you can give it any name i have given uh, email recipient you can give it anything for the subject again what i am doing is that basically this part it is taking from ai and here i'll say let's say email subject right and here in the message what i'll do is that i'll give it email content right so we have now established gmail as well now everything is ready here one thing that we need when you click on any of these you'll get a lot of different options currently i'll like to show you something uh, let's do one thing what we can do is that here in the add option you can see system message so this is basically the system prompt that we use it is written here as you are a helpful assistant what you can do is take a screenshot of this and go to chat gpt or perplexity whatever you have it is not a big deal paste it there and write a prompt and an ai agent uses send email tool to send email based on user query give me a complete system prompt for this agent and you will see it will give a very big system prompt now obviously this can be refined there are some things which can be changed but i am just copy pasting it to show you that it would still work come here double click on it change it to the system prompt so now it has given many instructions how you can like you know uh, the instructions are uh, how you can uh, like it can receive a complete uh, user query and then extract the different email ids uh, how it can create a subject how it can create a message now we have done that i'll go back and now our workflow is ready so here what i'll do is that hi please send an email to so you uh, here you can see i have mentioned hi please see, send an email to whatever the email address is asking whether he is free on 12th may for the concert or not a very normal human language right and i'll send it you can see everything is working and the message has been sent so in gmail you would actually see that it has been sent now here you can clearly see that we have the subject as concert availability we have the content hi i hope this email finds you well i wanted to check if you are free on 12th may to attend the concert please let me know if you are available thanks ai assistant and this part that you see this email was sent automatically with an attend we can actually remove it and this has actually been sent so uh, this is the thing and how we can remove that nten uh, declaration uh, below we will come to our ai agent and here not in the ai agent we'll come to gmail and here we'll see append nten attribution so it has been turned on right so we'll turn it off so once we turn it off it will not uh, add that last line that it has been sent with anaton and you can see that whatever we write here we can directly send it to 
gmail and this is a very simple workflow the only reason i actually showed this is because you can get started and you understand how to create workflows we'll build very complex wor uh, workflows in future and it, this would be very helpful for you guys all idea is you can actually connect a google sheet with let's say 100 or 200 emails it would extract all the emails send a customized G email through gmail so these kind of automation with ai it is automatically writing the subject contents and everything is amazing so this was it for the video and if you have any kind of doubt or any kind of comments so put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you